Hello and welcome, guys. My name is Thomas, and today I'd like to show you on how to name your computer. That might sound stupid, but actually it isn't. So you might know that you access your local stuff via actually an IP address or your PC name or the term localhost, as I usually do. But you can actually give your computer a real domain name. Of course, those changes only apply on your computer, but you can use this to make either testing a little bit more less painful or to uh, seem more legit. And um, to do this, it's, it's actually very easy. You could do this via DNS, but I won't do this. You need to start up Notepad as an administrator to do this. So you have to be an administrator on your computer to do this. Then you have to click on File, Open, and you have to open this location. Windir System32 Drivers ETC Hosts, or you can basically just uh, copy it out of my description. You have to change that to All Files and click on Open, and there we go. Uh, just ignore all the other stuff and make two line breaks. So we are at, well, we have two line breaks. And um, now we want to enter in our IP address. This might be uh, IP version 6 or IP version 4. I will do IP version 4 actually right now. So we do 1.7.0.0.1 and then your domain name. In my case, example.com. We will save the file and it will in instantly change. So if I would now take this and I'd supply this in my browser, I would get on my local web server. If I would take this line out with such a pound sign and then would refresh, you'd, you'd see that actually another site would appear, which is the real example.com. But through our hosts file, this gets redirected to our own computer, which ultimately means, oh, I haven't saved it, which ultimately means that we are, hello? No, yeah, there we go. Which ultimately means that we access our local host. So I hope that helped you out in some kind of way. And uh, thanks for watching this video, and see you in another one. Goodbye.